Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jaseem. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of tangents to a circle and the Pythagoras theorem, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a trapezoid with two right angle corners. The lengths of the parallel sides are given as 6 and 10 units. Now a circle is drawn inside that touches all the edges of the trapezoid. Then my problem is, what is the radius of this circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the trapezoid has two right angle corners. Secondly, length of the parallel sides are 6 and 10 units. And finally, the circle touches all the sides of the trapezoid. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the radius of the circle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now observe our diagram. Suppose the radius of the circle is r units. Now note that height of the trapezoid is equal to diameter of the circle, which is 2r. That is, height is equal to 2 times r. Now in our trapezoid, one more side is remaining. Let this side be x units. Now we have to note what is a tangential quadrilateral and what are its properties. So, consider this quadrilateral and an inscribed circle. That is, as you can see, all the four sides of the quadrilateral are tangents to a single circle. Such a quadrilateral is called a tangential quadrilateral. Now, there is a beautiful property which makes the tangential quadrilateral more special. Suppose the side lengths are given as A, B, C and D units. Then, the fact is, the sum a plus c is equal to the sum b plus d. That is, in a tangential quadrilateral, the sum of each pair of opposite sides are equal. The reason is very simple. Let's denote the quadrilateral by a, b, c, d. Now mark the touching points of each sides. First consider these two parts. As you can see, they are tangents to the circle drawn from a single point, And hence they are equal. Let's say it is x1. Next consider these two parts. By the same reason, they are also tangents drawn to the circle from a single point and hence they are equal. Let's say x2. Similarly, there are two more pairs of equal tangents. We can call them as x3 and x4. Now calculate the sum of lengths of opposite sides. First consider AB plus CD. AB is equal to x1 plus x2 and CD is equal to x3 plus x4. Next sum of opposite sides is AD plus BC. AD is equal to x1 plus x4 and BC equal to x2 plus x3. Obviously, both are equal. That is, as we told, in a tangential quadrilateral, the sum of each pairs of opposite sides are equal. Keeping this in mind, Come back to the problem. It is clear that our trapezoid is a tangential quadrilateral. And hence, as we told, the sum of each pairs of opposite sides are equal. First pair is the parallel sides. And their sum is 6 plus 10. The remaining pair will give the sum 2r plus x. That is, 6 plus 10 equal to 2r plus x. And hence, x is equal to 16 minus 2r. Now draw this height to form a right triangle here. So its height will be 2r and base length will be 10 minus 6 equal to 4 units. Now apply Pythagoras theorem. It gives 2r whole square plus 4 square equal to 16 minus 2r whole square. That is 4r square plus 16 equal to 256 minus 64r plus 4r square. 
the term 4 r square is cancelled out and we get 64 r equal to 256 minus 16 equal to 240 that is r is equal to 240 divided by 64 which is equal to 15 by 4 so in the diagram of our problem the radius r is equal to 15 by 4 units which is equal to 3.75 units and that is the solution we are looking for and that's all about this video my gmail id and instagram id are given in the description so if you have any queries regarding the subject please feel free to contact thank you so much for watching meet you in the next video with another interesting problem